America's nuclear reactors are getting old. The oldest opened in 1969, and the average age of all 94 reactors is about 39 years. That might not sound old, but for a reactor, it's getting up there. Ten years ago, the Fukushima meltdown in Japan triggered a flurry of coverage questioning whether aging reactors in the U.S. are still safe. And most reactors that operated then are still running today. What's more, in late 2019, these two reactors received the first ever license renewals permitting them to operate for up to 80 years, double their original license period. That decision sparked the debate all over again. Are America's nuclear reactors too old? After World War II, the U.S. steered nuclear power away from these and towards energy production. President Eisenhower championed the cause and attended the opening of the first plant near Shippingport, Pennsylvania in 1958. Many more followed in the early 1960s, although most of those were for experimental or training purposes and shut down within a few years. It wasn't until late 1969 that two of the first long hauler reactors began operation. That one was decommissioned in 2018, but that one is still going. They were joined by a slew of plants built between the 1970s and 1990s, which steadily increased nuclear slice of the energy production pie. Each was granted an initial 40-year license. Starting in the late 90s, with the end of the initial 40-year licenses in sight, plant owners began applying for 20-year license renewals. Almost every U.S. nuclear power plant has received that additional 20-year license renewal, allowing them to operate for 60 years. So these are designs that were uh, developed and built many decades ago. And this poses a number of challenges. The biggest concern probably is materials. There's very few structures and outside of buildings which are that old. Machines typically don't ra last 40 or 60 or 80 years. For example, the nuclear fuel is contained in a steel reactor vessel. And this reactor vessel is exposed to very high radiation levels over time. And th that radiation can actually cause the metal to become brittle. And the potential for it to actually fracture, crack open, increases over time. Look at what happened at the davis Bessey plant in Ohio. In late 2001, the plant owner requested a delay on a mandatory safety inspection. When the inspection finally happened the following February, it was discovered there was a pineapple-sized hole in the top of the reactor vessel and only a very thin layer of metal that was preventing a loss of coolant from that vessel. So that, that was a pretty close call. Pretty close call indeed. A Los Angeles Times story noted that thousands of gallons of radioactive water could have escaped if the plant continued operation, possibly ending in a total meltdown. Outside of the actual reactors, nuclear power plants require plenty of other maintenance. But it's not always easy to do. For one thing, parts can be really costly to replace, especially when nuclear plants are competing against cheaper natural gas and renewables. So at some point you raise the question, is it worth it doing? Yeah, you could do it, but economical, probably not worth doing it anymore. For another thing, there's some debate about whether replacing old parts actually ensures safety. Take these two. Every bridge, every building has some, some things you want to monitor, right? Most parts can be exchanged on a reactor, except the reactor itself or the reactor vessel. That's so just a normal operation of any engineering structure, really. If you talk to a reactor owner, you know, they may tell you these are like classic cars where as long as you keep them tuned up they'll, they'll run forever. That's um, really not the case because again there are systems and structures that simply can't be maintained or replaced. See what I mean? This disagreement isn't really surprising. The world never had nuclear plants before the mid-20th century, so these are the first to last this long. The only way to know for sure if they can keep running safely is to let them keep running. So America's nuclear reactors are getting old, and there's debate as to whether that's safe. But there is an upshot. 
nuclear energy could be a critical tool in solving one of the biggest problems the world faces. The nuclear energy doesn't produce uh, any CO2 during normal operation. Uh, some plants, if they were shut down, would be replaced by natural gas. If you're really serious about reducing CO2 emission, then nuclear energy is a very, very viable option. Germany serves as a cautionary tale. After voting to get rid of all nuclear energy following Fukushima, the country is now struggling to reach its ambitious carbon-cutting goals. Of course, keeping nuclear around leaves open the question of what to do with all the nuclear waste. But given the urgent need to cut carbon emissions, it could be worth the gamble. Well, the question is, what's the bigger risk? I would say that nuclear waste issue is the smaller issue. We have to deal with it either way. So we may just as well deal with it on a larger scale. So should the U.S. keep its nuclear reactors going, or is it time to shut them down? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to click subscribe so you don't miss future videos.